Hey guys, welcome back to the Gratitude Incarnate Podcast. The episode I'm about to record today is so appropriate from how for how I'm feeling right now. Like so often as we go through this spiritual journey, you know, people talk about all the fun, beautiful, magical parts of the journey, but they a lot of times they push toxic positivity, okay? Let's suppress our feelings and only display positive emotions. But you guys, I'm telling you, my body is in a process of healing right now. My mind is in a process of healing right now. And you may be wondering, what is she talking about? Well, I don't say that I'm sick anymore, okay? My body is healing, and I'm grateful for that healing. This is not normally the vibe that I would record the podcast in, but I recently just, I had some thoughts about consistency, and I know that it's okay to give our body a break and to rest when we need to, but at the same time, this morning when I recorded the Daily Divine Download, I made a promise to you guys that I was going to show up today with these affirmations and deliver affirmation segments at least once a month. So I'm showing up to do that. And, you know, don't feel bad for me or anything. I am, normally I do this podcast in my car or at my desk, but today I'm doing it from the comfort of my bed and I'm resting. So everything's good. On this episode, we will be saying gratitude affirmations focused on being a spiritual warrior, okay? What does it mean to be a spiritual warrior? This term seems like a contradiction. You don't really think of a spiritual person being involved in warfare of any kind, but a spiritual war, a spiritual warrior is someone who combats the universal enemy of ignorance, Spiritual warriors bring light into the darkness, and this is not an easy path, and that's what I was talking about when I started the podcast, you know, like, learning these new processes and, you know, building the habit of consistency while also giving my body space and the healing energy that it needs, you know, that is not necessarily easy. It's simple, but it's not really easy, you know, but we can still show up when things are hard and challenging. Okay. And it will challenge you and it will require sacrifices, but please know that the rewards are greater than any of the struggles because you will become free of your doubts, your fears, and be free of a shallow mindset. You will also become a path maker, leading the world into a shift in global consciousness. And I say this all the time and I'll say it again. It is not your job to save the world, but you can save yourself and lead the world through your example. So what are the states on being that are required to become a spiritual warrior? What are the states of being, sorry, typo there. What are the states of being that are required to become a spiritual warrior? So they are awareness, courage, discipline, relentlessness, cunning, patience, super important, sweetness, and love. Okay, let me say that one more time. Awareness, courage, discipline, like me showing up to do this podcast, (laughs) relentlessness, cunning, patience, which is super important, sweetness, and love. So if you're ready to become a spiritual warrior today, or if you are ready sorry, if you are already a spiritual warrior, these affirmations are here to help you on your journey. So let's get started. 
If this is your first time working with affirmations, don't worry. This is super easy. All you do is repeat after me. I will say the affirmation. Give a moment of pause so you can repeat the affirmation. Then I'll say the affirmation again. Give another moment of silence for you to repeat it. Then we will move on to the next affirmation. And I'll let you know when we're finished. Affirmations are powerful because they help you disrupt negative thoughts and habits. Over time and practice, these positive thought patterns appear and they affect your actions. This will help you learn new skills, succeed at work, your relationships, and really every aspect of your life. Please remember these affirmations work best when set on a daily basis for 21 to 28 days because that's how long it takes to form a habit or change one. So let's get started. Like I said, just repeat after me. I am so happy and grateful now that I used my awareness to raise my own consciousness and the consciousness of my community. I am so happy and grateful now that I use my awareness to raise my own consciousness and the consciousness of my community. I am so thankful to surrender to this process because divine guidance moves me. I am so thankful to surrender to this process because divine guidance moves me. I am so blessed that I may patiently await what is mine. I am so blessed that I may patiently await what is mine. I am so thankful that I am strong in my mind, body, and spirit. I am so thankful that I am strong in my mind, body, and spirit. I am so happy and grateful that today I face my fears because I am bold. I am so happy and grateful that today I face my fears because I am bold. I am so blessed to know that I am ready for whatever today presents to me. I am so blessed to know that I am ready for whatever today presents to me. I am so happy and grateful that I am special, unique, and destined for greatness. I am so happy and grateful that I am special, unique, and destined for greatness. I am so grateful and happy that I am in control of how I respond. I am so happy and grateful that I am in control of how I respond. I am so thankful that I am not afraid to speak up and I do not run from confrontation. I am so thankful that I am not afraid to speak up and I do not run from confrontation.
I am so blessed to know that I made a difference in the world today. I am so blessed to know that I make a difference in the world today. I am so thankful to push past my pain and feel the full joy and happiness in store for me today. I am so thankful to push past my pain and feel the joy and happiness in store for me today. I am so happy and grateful because I am strong. I am so happy and grateful because I am strong. I am so happy and grateful because I am fierce. I am so happy and grateful because I am fierce. I am so happy and grateful because I am valuable. I am so happy and grateful because I am valuable. I am so happy and grateful because I am confident. I am so happy and grateful because I am confident. I am so thankful I never gave up because I will always keep moving forward. I am so thankful I never gave up because I will always keep moving forward. I am so thankful to know that all my failures were lessons and that it is a blessing. I am so thankful to know that all my failures were lessons and that it is a blessing. I am so happy and grateful because I was made to win because I was born a winner. I am so happy and grateful because I was made to win because I was born a winner. I am so happy and grateful to know that my strength overcomes every struggle. I am so happy and grateful to know that my strength overcomes every struggle. Okay, guys, great job. Remember, these affirmations will be here for you when you need them, okay? Thank you so much for being here today and doing this important work to not only expand your consciousness, While you're doing this, you're expanding the consciousness of the entire planet. If you found these affirmations helpful, please share them with a friend or a family member. And if you love this episode, please leave a five-star rating. With all that being said, I want you to have a grateful day.